Bugs in your food? Well, I think most of us have heard that there's a certain percentage of bugs that find their way into our food supply, but we don't see them, they're there accidentally, and it doesn't really bother us. But what about the bugs that are in your food on purpose? If you purchase a food item, like this yogurt, if it's red, stop and take a look at the ingredients list to see what dye is making it red. Now, it could be a synthetic dye made from something like a coal tar sludge or a petroleum distillate, or it could be made from cochineal bugs. The cochineal bugs, like I have here in front of me, this is a very common food dye as well. Now, living or dead, cochineal bugs don't really look like anything. But look what happens when you take some of these bugs and we grind them up into a powder. We'll put some on this lid here. Now watch this. We're going to add a few drops of water and watch what happens. In just seconds, it turns into a brilliant scarlet red dye. Now we have the early Indians of Mexico to thank for this discovery, but it was the Spanish that brought it to the rest of the world. Now how do you determine if cochineal dye is being used in your food? Just look at the ingredients list and search for these key words. Carminic acid, or it could say carmine, or like in the case of this jello, they just went right out ahead and said cochineal extract or bug juice. Now before you run to the bathroom to rinse your mouth out, stop and take a look at the ingredients list you may be rinsing it out with even more bugs. Now, as distasteful as this may seem, just remember this. Cochineal dye has been around for centuries. It is a natural, renewable resource, and in my opinion, it's just plain cool. So from the North Carolina Museum of Natural Sciences, thank you for observing a moment of science. <laughs>